Okay, in this video, we're going to try something that uh, I haven't tried before, and we'll see how it works out. So I have here a piece of super fine steel wool. It's 0000, zero, zero, zero. and you can get this at Walmart, Menards, any hardware store. And uh, I had this idea that if I took this ferrocesium rod, it's a half inch by six inches long. You see up here, I don't really use this anyway, where this black coating is. So what if I could include um, basically some tinder here in the form of the steel wool, and then add to that this duct tape, wrapping the steel wool around this, and so on. So I'm going to give it a shot. First of all, I'm going to want it to come to about right here at the edge of the coating. So, um, I have a couple choices. I could either double this up and call it good and then tape it, but that's going to get a little bulky. So I think what I'll do, rather than doing that, is just uh, make a cut at about that point. So we'll see how this works here. Cuts real nice. It's easy to work with for the most part. Actually, I guess it didn't cut at all. It just kind of made a crease, but that's all right. This is coming apart right where I want it to. And uh, what you're going to notice with this steel wool is it's just, it's so easy to catch. Um, you don't have to have a battery with you. I mean, that's a cool party trick and like, hey, look at this. You know, it's neat to show to your friends, but um, really all you need is just a spark from anything, really, and it'll. So now we're just going to wind this around here. room in your pocket or your pack or wherever you want is this is not that much more bulky but it's probably bulkier than I would like and uh, it is a nice cushion for when you don't need to use this this should only be like your emergency backup if you really need it so uh, what we'll do is rather than trying to find the end of this we'll just cut it cut uh, in here slips out once the duct tape is off and see now this is nice because this here has stuck to the tape obviously so what we're gonna do is with anything we're gonna increase our surface area and expose as many ridges as possible and that way we're gonna give it more airflow and it'll be much less prone to smothering so after we've unrolled it like this then we'll just kind of tuck it back on itself a little bit, however you want. And then obviously you're going to have to have your sticks. Uh, first you have your piece of bark, then you'll have this, then you'll have like basically Lincoln logs around it, just a four stick platform. And on that platform you're going to have teeny tiny little twigs, um, smaller than a matchstick, the smaller the better, they're going to be really easy to catch. You'll also have to have a pile of matchstick and a little bit thicker and then a little bit thicker, a little bit thicker and you need to have enough of that ready to go before you even ignite this thing because otherwise they're going to be scrambling around and this is going to go out. So you got to gather enough before you do that. So now all we got to do is give this a spark and it should uh, catch itself and then the duct tape will give us additional burn time I'm thinking. So here we go. that out. And we're going to blow on this here so we can get it. And you don't want to breathe these fumes in 
they aren't the best for you. Okay, so after that last video, I thought of a possible improvement. Um, I think what I would do, I don't know if I have this in my mind right, but I would put the uh, duct tape on the inside as well as the outside. Let's see here. Basically just double it back on itself so that the sticky is to the outside. Well, you say, okay, bozo, but you still have to get um, this around it, and this is just going to slide off. Well, yeah, it's going to slide off if I don't put another, um, just a quick layer of tape around that, but that's exactly what we're going to do. But this is going to help to keep this in better place, I think. <laughs> so we're going to do that and then we're just going to roll it up and this will be a simpler way to do it and um, this way you can roll it as much as you want you know maybe you want it a little thinner profile like this so we can say okay I'm going to stop here so you can just oops rip that off and now we're going to do a quick uh, tape around here. Just roll it so that it uh, is going to catch on the fire steel here so it'll have a base. I think what I'd do though is I would take some electrical tape this is a little bit easier to run disadvantage um, to this method is I mean look I mean I've I've swallowed up half at least of my ferrule rod for my tapes and that itself so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to soak this in water and I'm going to come back and see if we can still get it going okay we're back I completely submerged this for about 45 seconds to a minute. It is completely submerged. So now what we're going to do is we're going to shake it off and do what any person would normally do if their gear got wet. Try to dry it out. You can see it's really beating up there as I'm flicking. <laughs> had a rag we would use it and then just kind of dab it dry. You might consider sticking it in your armpits or uh, try sticking it in your crotch. I know that sounds a little funny but those are the two warmest places on your body.
dab that dry. Okay, now we're gonna slice this open and uh, see what we got. Okay. We're gonna unravel this here. And remember, we still have our piece in here. Now this, this feels damp to me, so this is a little sketchy. I don't know if, uh, <laughs> if it's gonna work or not, but we're gonna give it a go. And I mean, it would be hard for it to get any wetter than it was. I mean, it was completely submerged. It wasn't just riding out in the rain a little bit. So we're gonna, Spread this out a little bit. Nice fine fibers. Okay, and this would be on your piece of bark. You would have your four stick platform. You'd have your little twigs across. You know, you'd have this here. You'd be ready to go. You wouldn't be caught um, off guard. So now we're going to give this a go. And what do you know? It lit up on the first first uh, try. Yeah, baby. Okay, that went out, but that's okay. We can get it to reignite. We didn't burn it all up, but it's just going to be a little trickier than I thought. Reposition your sticks. Come in again. We're just trying to get this duct tape to take. If that takes, then we'll then we'll have it. like we're having much luck with that. Well, we'll try this upside down first. There we go. Yeah, now we're getting it going. Okay. Sorry about the noise, folks. As you can see, the duct tape caught fire. Although this is not the best method for this. Uh, meaning it doesn't work as well when it's damp, but it is possible to get it going. I was just about to give up, but. We have a nice large flame envelope. By now your twigs should be catching fire and you'll eventually be able to add bigger twigs as you go. Okay, we're gonna take this idea, but in order to help hopefully waterproof it, we're gonna dip this steel wool, the entire thing, into this pot of wax. We'll see how it goes. The goal of this is to try to see if uh, even if it gets submerged, if we'd still be able to light it with uh, greater ease because this has been um, completely soaked in wax. The disadvantage that I'm seeing right now as I wrap this is it makes it twice as thick. So just know that you're going to have to uh, cut it half the length if you uh, don't want this to look like you, uh, you know, tied a candy bar onto the end of your ferro rod. So tape this up and then away we go. I could have done a better job taping this here. 
there is some a little bit of give in it, but it's good enough for testing purposes. I'm going to submerge this for a minute, and then I'll be right back. Okay. Ran out of battery, so what we've done to recap is we've taped this piece of wax-soaked steel wool. We've taped that to the ferrule rod. Now we've sliced it open and we're going to unpeel it, uh, unravel it, and see if we can get it to light up and if we have better results, uh, not only getting it to light up, but to sustain the burn much easier than last time. We had to struggle for a few minutes last time before we got a good light on it. We're going to see if we've remedied that or if this will have no difference at all. this off of here. That's a little wet. We'll use this last. this off as best we can. Wipe it off. Boy, that is soaked. If this works, that'll be awesome, but that is wet. Things usually do become wet when they're submerged in water. Okay. I'm going to shake this out. This doesn't feel too bad. I think this is going to work, but we'll see. Now remember as always, spread the fibers, expose more surface area, expose more edges, easier to light, easier to burn, less frustration. Okay, once again, this is theoretically resting on the piece of bark. You have your little four stick Lincoln log thing, small twig like, less than a matchstick thick matches over the top. Then you add uh, your duct tape here, duct tape here, something like that. Now we're going to take our ferro rod and we're going to give her a light up here. There we go. Look at that. Okay, get that tape over there. All right. Don't get the tape on your hands. Because that'll hurt. Oh, man, that is burning so much better. Look at that huge flame envelope. Oh, yeah, that would totally work. We have this piece here. Oh, man, that is just beautiful. Huge flame envelope that lit up so much better with wax. I've never tried that before. That is just sweet. If you can't get a fire going with that, then that is awesome. I haven't blown on it or anything. Alright, that is a success. We'll have to remember that one.